Yeah, welcome back. So we did have mostly sunny skies to meet our way through most of the day. Now looking on the horizon, we have more clouds approaching and some snow showers ready to start developing. That'll be the story as we go through the rest of the evening. Current temperatures look like this. It's seven or at one degree right now at North Platte after reaching highs near 10. Uh, wind chill is 16 below zero with that wind north around 12 miles per hour. And the dew point is nine below. Here's a look at the temperatures outside right now. So we're still into the mid to upper single digits at Ogallala and Imperial and closer to that zero degree mark at uh, Lexington. But we have fallen into the mid to upper single digits below zero from Broken Bow, Thedford, Hyannis and up toward Valentine too with that wind northerly around 10 to 15 miles per hour. That northerly flow is really pumping in that Arctic air. Here's a look at the wind chill values across the region, across the viewing area. Wind chills right now are mainly between uh, 15 and 30 degrees below zero coldest wind chills into our northern county so prepare for that if you're spending any time outside here's a look at the weather alerts first for the snow and the blowing snow that's going to happen tonight uh, we have winter weather advisories uh, basically from north platte up toward valentine uh, and points off to the north and off to the west uh, that does go until 6 p.m tomorrow and blizzard warnings in effect for that blowing snow from custer county and points off to the north and east also going until 6 p.m. tomorrow so definitely be aware of that even though the snow might not be falling most of the uh, time it could be still blowing around out there that's why we have those alerts also wind chill warnings in effect all the way until Tuesday at noon uh, that is uh, through the weekend through uh, Monday uh, temperatures are going to be dangerous out there so that's why we have that warning in effect uh, mainly clear skies off to the east of North Platte we have an increase in the clouds and a thin line of some snow showers from Gordon approaching Hyannis Arthur moving through Ogallala approaching Wallace right now this activity will continue to move off to the east could coat the roads at times and uh, could last until the early overnight so just be aware that could be some slippery spots. The main low is exiting right now, becoming a big snowmaker into the Great Lakes states and then into portions of uh, southeastern Canada. Uh, here's another low pressure system that's just going to skirt us off to the south. And even colder air is going to be behind it. That's what we're expecting for the weekend. So especially off to the south and west of North Platte, we do have chances for some snow showers as we go through this evening. They should work their way away from us as we go through the overnight. But we keep a good amount of cloud cover. Low temperatures near the 10 below zero mark. And then only rebounding back to uh, around one degree as we go through the day tomorrow and then uh, going through the overnight on Sunday, we really start to clear out with low temperatures. And these are air temperatures, 15 to 20 degrees below zero an increase in the clouds, maybe some light snow showers as we go through uh, the day on Sunday. And we should have those highs between around two and five degrees. So very cold air. We got the first surge of cold air now behind the snow shower system tonight. We'll have the uh, coldest air over us with this cool high pressure system. Watch out for those snow showers Sunday into Monday. High pressure works its way in. And we'll continue to have the extremely cold air as we at least go through the first part of next week. And then we'll start to rebound in terms of temperatures. So one on Saturday, four on Sunday. Snow shower chances Sunday into Monday when highs will be 7 degrees. And then up to 20 on Tuesday with sunny skies. 38 your high on Wednesday. Partly cloudy and partly cloudy. A little breezy on Thursday. A little cooler high of 29 and 24 for Friday as we stay dry with partly cloudy skies by next week. Kent? All right, yeah, so we're getting ready for that cold weather, and we really just want to urge people to really, really be careful. Yeah, and definitely uh, this is going to be one of the coldest blasts that we're going to see this winter, so be prepared for that. All right, thanks so much. We appreciate that, Justin. And more people experience trouble focusing during the pandemic as a new study shows prescriptions for medications to treat ADHD spiked in 2020 and 2021. The number of new prescriptions